Hey everybody, <laughs> it's Butthead. <laughs> uh, yeah, like, so today I'm gonna be teaching you very beginner stuff. Like, this is very beginner. It's like basically if you just wanted to learn really beginner. <laughs> I'm gonna keep saying beginner. <laughs> yeah, chords. So, like, I'm gonna be teaching you the C major, D major. E major, and I mean, F major is like a bar chord, so, you know, I might skip that, because this is very beginner. <laughs> this sucks. Um, yeah, so like, oh, what was I saying? Yeah, C, D, E, G, and A, because like, F and B are bar chords, and like, if you're a very beginner, you probably don't even want to learn those. <laughs> so like the open chords or something. C, D, E, G, N. <laughs> yeah, so like, let's start with the C. <laughs> so the C major chord is going to be like, okay, like very, like slowly. Um, it's a ring finger the ring finger is going to be on the third fret of the A and then the middle <laughs> middle finger <laughs> this is like me flipping you off <laughs> so like the middle finger is going to be on the second fret of the D and then the G string, <laughs> G string. So I just flipped you off and got to say G string. <laughs> I never noticed the guitar is kind of like a dirty instrument. <laughs> okay, so like back to uh, what I was saying. Um, so like the uh, index finger is going to be on the B string on the first fret. So again, it's like index finger, I mean, I'm sorry, ring finger on the third fret of the A, middle finger on the second fret of the D, the G string is open, and then the index finger on the first fret of the B, and then the E string, the high E string, <laughs> is like open. So that's like a C major chord oh wait look the volume's not high enough <laughs> oh now the volume's too high <laughs> this sucks okay so like next is like the D major chord <laughs> so like you can forget about the low E and A string cause they're not involved so like the d string is open because that's the root and then the index finger is going to be on the second fret of the g and then the ring finger is going to be on the third fret of the b and then the middle finger is going to be on the second fret of the high e so again, that's the shape for a D. That sounds out of tune. <laughs> My high E string sucks. It always goes out of tune on this guitar. But anyways, yeah, so that's the, might be a little um, hard for like a beginner to get this shape down, but there it is. Okay, so like next is gonna be like E major. <laughs> it's probably gonna be the easiest one out of them all. Okay, so the E major is the low E is open. The middle finger will go on the second fret of the A. The index finger, I mean, I'm sorry, the ring finger is gonna be, <laughs> you know what I should do? Get my fingers straight. 
I always say the wrong finger. <laughs> the ring finger is going to be on the second fret of the D. And the in, the index <laughs> finger is going to be on the first fret of the G. Like, then you strum all six strings, and this is the E. <laughs> so, like, next will be the F, but, like, a full F major chord is like a bar chord. And since this is, like, a really beginner lesson, <laughs> I'm gonna, like, not teach it fully for a bar chord, but I'm going to teach like a different version of it, the easier version. Um, so it's like a C, like how I just taught the C. You move it down, so like the ring finger will be on the third fret of the D. The middle finger will be on the second fret of the G. And then the uh, index finger will be on like the first fret of the B and kind of the E if you can do that. So if you can put them on both, that can be an F. But also you can just kind of hit the, the, the three strings that you uh, have your fingers on. But it would be better if you can actually put the index finger on the first fret of the B and the high E. Because it's easier than doing a full bar chord if you're a really beginner. So, like, again, third fret of the D, second fret of the G, and first fret of the B and E. So that will be like an F chord. <laughs> like, did my impression kind of cut out there? <laughs> I don't even know why I'm doing the impression. <laughs> wow. So, um, next will be a G chord. This might be kind of difficult for a really beginner too, like a, like a beginner that just picked up a guitar and wants to learn chords, but it's going to be the middle finger is going to be on the third fret of the low E. The index finger is going to be on the second fret of the A, and then the D and G strings are going to be open. And then the uh, <laughs> ring finger is going to be on the third fret of the B. And the pinky is going to be on the third fret of the high E. Now, if you keep these two fingers the same and you really only want to put the ring, uh, index finger on. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Hey, Babeth, I cannot remember that this is called a ring finger. <laughs> I do know what the middle finger is. <laughs> so, yeah. So, like, the ring finger, if you just want to put that on the high E, that's still a G. But a full G would be on with the both the third fret of the B and E fretted. Again, that sounds out of tune, but that's what the chord is. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so that's the G. Now the A, the A chord, I'll teach like the easy way of doing an A chord, but I guess a full A would be more complicated for a um, beginner because you're going to have to do like a tight, like right that. But if you really want to do like an easy A major, you can just hit the open A and then take your index finger and put it over the barred over the second fret of the D, G, and B strings. That is that will be good. That'll satisfy an A major chord. A real A major, I guess you should hit the open E too. So if you really wanted to do one, you would have to put like your middle finger, your ring finger and your pinky over the second fret of all those strings and hit the high E too. But like ultimately you're not going to have that major of a, of a difference doing that so it's easier to just 
easier to just <laughs> bar it with your index finger. Okay, so all that's left is the B. You can do um, index finger on the second fret of the A, and then put your ring, uh, ring finger all across the fourth fret on the D, G, and B strings. And that could be a B right there. So like, there it is. So that's the C, D, E, F, G, A, and B chords, major chords. Um, like, I'll probably do like another lesson teaching the minor chords. <laughs> if you do like the video, please subscribe to the guy's channel. You know, the other guy, because I'm butthead. <laughs> By doing something down there, or hitting something. And then something about a thumbs up. Uh, I don't really know. He always tells me to say it. <laughs> But again, this is butthead. <laughs> so, like, see you guys later or something. Ugh. <laughs>